Welcome to Let's Play Trails in the Sky. Take four already, yeah. Um, just made take three and sucked because I was breathing too much and in the microphone. Whatever, I'm doing this because I want to do it, deal with it. Um, I'm doing this in English because the game is in English and why not practice a bit talking in English? Can't do any harm and just let's start. Won't read the captions. You can read, I assume. Alright, we won't know his name until after the next thing that comes, which is the intro video, which is awesome. So I'll just don't say anything and you can watch the intro.
Yay! First money, yay! All right, so first of all, some setting, yep, and then we can check out the stats. Joshua has a bit more HP. All in all, quite similar. Well, yeah, let's get going. We are supposed to go to Roland and then to the Guild. And yes, by pressing square, we can see where 
the road leads to. Okay, let's see. General goods, so I can buy the newspaper I was supposed to buy right away. I just wanted to buy some newspaper. You don't have it. What the hell? I bet SL would forget about it by noon. Okay, on to the guild. Upstairs we go to receive our first quest. Yeah, yeah. Alright, um, I won't... I don't know. Just... Yeah, blah blah blah, skip this, quit. Because, um, that's some background information about, like, three topics. You don't even need to know in order to understand this story. Just a lot of background. Greater notebook, very important and useful. So, uh, let's select... Blah blah blah, this training will involve searching the sewers beneath Roland and bring back the contents of the chest. 
Yeah, I accepted that one. Uh, right here. Yeah. Triangle and left. Very good and yeah, very good. <laughs> very important and useful shortcut again. Being able to read is important, yes. Alright, Orbital Factory, very important place. Okay, again, um, this is some stuff you don't really have to know, because we will learn about them when the time comes. Um, first time I read this I really didn't get what they told me but with the course of the game you really you understand how the game works and how all these quartz and orbels and sepals and, and septium how all this stuff works modify track oh yeah Ah, okay, I have to build the action augment for Joshua, because he only can use time augments. Now I'm still stuck, which one I... Yeah, I will choose HP, because I need someone to help heal me. And install them in the slots. There you can see time only. Yeah. This pages in the Bracer Notebook are very nice. Yeah, I'm searching for a word here. Um, oh, they're important. They're useful. They're very useful. Alright, now I shall open one slot. Well, let's see. Uh, they get more expensive, of course. I'll just open this one. Qualification test.
Yeah, it really is extremely simple. Alright, yeah, uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Um, getting these items then. One tier bar restores 200 HP. None of my characters has more, so they always restore full health. So, Monster Guide. This is an addition in the PSP version. Um, I rarely used it, but it can be useful, I think. Alright, um, both have some lag in the recovery point. That's always a good option because they don't cost any money. Yes, everything will be restored to max except for CP. We'll learn about CP in the course of the first quest, which is this one. Let's just go with a blow and attack the first enemy. Attack him! Right, um, battle order bar. I attack first. Well, these enemies are... Here, I attack him. Blah blah blah. Can't reach him. Can't reach him. I will go there because my enemies won't do anything at all anyways. So I can deal with them faster. Yeah, idle. And idle again. And attack him. So... Ah, uh, yeah. I can't lose this battle. Really, I can't. Oh, I can't attack him because I'm too far away. Doesn't matter. I won. So, need 150 more experience points to level up. Get Got some Sabbath and an item. Okay, okay, yeah, we are learning about arts. Arts is, well, basically magic. Um, Estelle has um, a water quartz, that means she can use water arts. Hint. Consumes EP. Joshua has more EP because he has one more slot opened. Okay, use Aqua Bleed and Soul Blur. And again, my enemies aren't doing anything, can't lose. Even got an item. Crisp onion. I would need that. Crafts, yeah. Okay, now we're learning about CP. CP are gained by either dealing out am uh, damage or getting damage. So every time some HP are reduced, you get CP. Good thing about um, crafts is they are called immediately. Unlike arts, you don't have to wait for them. 
Okay. All right. Person who killed. Okay, now they will attack me. Can't use my. See, can't use any quartz. Uh, craft. Can't use any craft. So I'll just attack him. Oh, already killed. Nice. Get some ex experience. Some Sepith. Another item. Let's check on the items. I think they are all ingredients until now. Yeah. All ingredients, of course. Here's a chest with an item. Reviving ball. Hehe. <laughs> I think I will read everything the empty boxes say. Haha, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay. S craft or S break. Those are the ultimate combo attacks. Which, yeah, here it says while ignoring the battle order, so I don't have to wait to. Uh, I don't have un to wait until it's my turn. I can just say, do it. And they will do it. But first I have to gain 100 CP at last. At least. At least 100 CP. Now I have 100 CP. Now I can use this attack to attack that enemy. Which will be killed afterwards because this attack is so awesome. So now I attack this enemy, which is nearly dead, then use my S break, so I can attack right after me, right after myself, so to speak. And it's killed again immediately, so my enemies didn't even have a chance to attack me. Getting some experience, some Sepith items, okay. Let's continue the quest. Yeah, now we're learning about bonuses, which haven't been part of the game until now. Bonuses. I can have bonuses. I can steal bonuses by using S um, S breaks. So let's just attack that one and attack that one and wait for my enemies to do nothing or attack me. He's getting the bonus HP heal, 10% of his health will be dis uh, restored, but he was at 100%, so it doesn't matter. One down. And another one down. And getting health. And what can I do? Yeah. Oh right, um, I can check on enemies like this with pressing uh, square. Well, let's kill this one. All right, let's use this crop to kill him with one turn. Now. Walk there. You wouldn't. You won't do anything. But he could, if he wanted to. Well, okay, whatever. And I won again. Mm. 
more experience, more sap health, more items. Very hard getting out of here. Oh, let's check. Oh, I think this door is still locked. Yeah, I think it will be locked forever. Let's check here is nothing to see. Okay. Got that chest open. Yeah. And I can go some get some rest to heal myself just because it's free. Come on. Later in the game, you have to pay hotels to get your health restored. Report what we did. Report. Getting money. There we get 500 Myra. Mira. I think it's Mira because it's Japanese and I think it's Mira. And we gain Brazer points. Junior Bracer Emblem. So now I'm a Junior Bracer. More like Essel and Joshua are. Good thing they didn't dub this.
So, we just finished the first quest, finished the first, well, little portion of this game. Um, we are 35, that's 36 minutes in game, and we still have a lot of things to do. So, thanks for watching, first part of my let's play, and see you next time whenever it gets finished.